740 at KPL coming up on the KD Gunners Morning News. Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart, they're teaming up. We're going to tell you all about it coming up. Bernie, I'm just as bad as the rest of the mainstream media. Why are you just as bad as the rest of the mainstream media? Because I just now realized I totally, I need to get to Trump. And you know what I did? I did squirrel (laughs) Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart because it just (laughs) popped up on my screen. (laughs) You're so weird. Sorry. We are distracted little squirrels. Joining us on the phone, Rachel Sutherland from Fox News Radio. Good morning. Hey, good morning. So Trump made this huge speech yesterday, yet... To find any real detailed analysis, it's actually pretty hard this morning. There's a lot of back and forth kind of fact checking. Uh, we heard John Decker's report from yesterday. But as far as looking at how people are really perceiving this, it's almost like it's not even there. It. Now, Bernie and I were talking about how, you know, we're talking about trade deal re- uh, renegotiation. Like NAFTA. We're talking about business taxes, an enormous yeah. cut, the child like, care oh, thing. Let's go from 35 to 15 percent on taxes for businesses. And nobody's talking about this this morning? Yeah, that's a big change. A lot of the proposals he's suggesting are big changes. Um, As far as uh, taking a look at social media, I haven't seen anything there yet. It's just too soon to really see polling to Mm, see how people really feel about this. We do have official reaction from the Clinton camp, Mm -hmm. uh, which is basically just calling this traditional Republican trickle-down economics. So that's the kind of response you would definitely hear from someone like Hillary Clinton. But, you know, listening to the speech yesterday and watching, I thought that there were several interesting proposals, one of them being the the corporate tax uh, that that you were mentioning going from 35 to 15 and and him suggesting that this would help grow businesses, hire hire more people. Also, the child care uh, tax deduction, which, I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm a parent, and I've sat down and yeah. said, okay, I just spent $10,000 in child care this year, and I'm only getting this much? Yes. Yeah. Like that. yeah. That stood so out to intriguing. me, too. That was a lightning bolt for me. Yeah. Now, I mean, obviously, you guys would because of your, your kid status thing. And then, of course, I'm like, wait. Well, Bernie, get yourself about- get yourself a kid. <laughs> Everybody's doing it. Wait, wait. I have some, but they're not. They're they're older. <laughs> dep- mine, they're- too, now. Oh, mine, too. We're long gone. <laughs> the I'm just talking about when I used to do that <laughs> and the shock and horror of it. But yes. now it's too late for me. But, I, you know, it's still an interesting idea. It is. I mean, it really is. Imagine, especially for single parents. Who are trying yeah. to cut the cut the mustard with you know one person's pay, and you're trying to figure it all out. So I don't know. I just thought there would be much more attention from the major three, and maybe there was. I will be honest. I didn't. I didn't watch a single thing yesterday. I didn't listen to a single thing yesterday. That's healthy, right? When, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. On occasion, my, we have to unplug. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, so you know, maybe there was some more coverage, and I just didn't see it. I really thought though this morning there would be much more coverage. Or, um, and much more analysis yeah. of what it means. Like, okay, let's take a company. What does this mean in actual dollars yeah. for a, you know, a, a company with a million dollars in revenue? I mean, it, there are just some different things, I think, to look out there. But one thing that really kind of stood out to me as well is, you know, these were, this is the concrete stuff, you know, and we see this yeah. from both campaigns, okay? They call on the other campaign to do something. When they don't do it, it's a huge deal. Oh, Hillary Clinton won't talk or different things. And then it was, the next thing we really have to look for is Trump releasing his taxes. But I would bet it's just like this. They wanted him to be specific. He's specific. And it's kind of like just another Trump speech. Right. You know, I mean, yeah. is that a fear in the Trump campaign, do you think? I don't know if they're if they're really fearing it. They are saying that they want the media to pay attention to his specifics. And to be honest, it is one of the first times I've heard real specifics. I mean, talking about uh, the tax brackets and Things like the child care deduction and lowering. I mean, it all sounded concrete, but still, even with that, I think people are wondering how are you going to pay for all those proposals? Mm-hmm. And and what Trump is saying is that if you lower the corporate tax rate, uh, you would build more revenue coming into the government, essentially because it would be more people hiring, more people starting businesses. Um, and so Hillary Clinton will also be laying out her tax plan, or her I should say a broader economic plan in Detroit mm-hmm. on Thursday. So... Okay. Uh, we'll see what kind of reaction there is to that, and then and then we'll have to watch the polls. It's real hard to get a pulse on what people are are thinking unless you're looking at polling or talking with folks. I mean, people, you if you got call in shows, you you might have a better idea than than I do um, as to how people feel. Um, and yeah. as far as network coverage, I mean, I know that that Fox has been all over it this morning. I can't say for the other two because yeah. I haven't been flipping around. Well, I I do think um, it's interesting, and and we keep we talk about polls, obviously awesome, but there's another situation where there are so many, and they change day to day. You know, it seemed like over the weekend, the the big one that was being talked about 
was the 15, you know, the 15% spread, and then it was an 8%. Well, then yesterday, and I had a, one of our listeners emailed me in this morning to say that the, the one that people were pointing to, the 23% spread, showing that 20, um, Hillary Clinton had a 23% lead. Okay, so Bernie, that was actually likely women voters oh. in one poll. Oh, so okay. that was impo- that was okay. why it wasn't overall, because that's what we that's were like, a, yeah. well, that's very different from the that other numbers. That would be a big yeah. headline. Um, I, well, I oftentimes rely on the real clear politics average of polls, so they mm. take them all and they kind of do the math and everything. And right now they have Hillary Clinton with a, a seven-point average lead over Donald Trump. And I think it's good to try to average these polls, especially when, some people feel, oh, I can't trust that poll or I can't trust the other one. Well, let's take a look at them all and, and boil it down. They kind of elect, yeah. they kind of just put them all together. Well, Rachel yeah. Sutherland, it's always great to talk to you and follow yes. your reporting. Um, I would hey. imagine you're not going to uh, – this won't be your last political story until November, right? <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I stay pretty busy. <laughs> all right. 726. Uh, have a great Thanks. day, Rachel. Um, gosh, you know, you just have to – like we kind of talked about earlier and we touched on a little bit earlier. You have to look around and see all the different – points of view and yeah. maybe you'll be a little bit more you know have a well, well rounded kind of but thought about see, it but, but you see that doesn't i don't know it still doesn't answer the question as to why that's not a, the headline this morning why the I, headline exactly the, because you know in looking around at these what? things the headline this morning on most of them mm-hmm. is the 50 um global leaders okay yeah you know who who said trump is unfit to be president okay to which trump just says and you're part of the problem okay. done See, you know, I mean, it's just, I mean, it, the, you people like the man for being anti-establishment. And I think it's funny that all these people who have been raising and waving the Republican flag for all these years suddenly say, oh, yes, now we're not going to do it. We want you. not exactly <laughs> what, he, what we wanted. And yeah. it's like, OK, well, it's you pretty know, hypocritical. I, I, I think, don't know. I know. just. Is it? Is it not? I don't know. Yeah. You know, maybe some people just think he's a real idiot and they're never going to vote for him. And there but, are those people. But guess but what? But then there's the, the same people when you talk to them or say, yeah, but Hillary's an idiot, too. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> dude, you know, what do you want? I mean, I guess people want a third party, but, you know, wish but in not one the hand one, and but not the one else that's, in the other. And <laughs> exactly. I was about to say, not with these th- third party candidates. You know, I would but, be honest. I think the only third if there if there was a third party candidate. This mm-hmm. go around that I think would have a chance yeah. would have been if Bernie Sanders said, oh, that's how we're going to play. That's right. what y'all did. Yeah. OK, well, I'm not a Democrat anymore because y'all rigged it against me. Right. <laughs> you know, right. so and maybe he just said, ah, I can get more out of him the other way. I, mean, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I have no <laughs> well, I mean, idea. Think about it. Bernie Sanders was a nothing in Congress. Right. But think about it. Now he's going to walk in there like, yeah. you know, like he's got his big sheriff's vest on. Like when Rob was a little kid in his Power Ranger gloves. Duh. And be like, duh, duh, duh. I'm a man. That was the power. I'm telling you, Power Rangers, where Dude, it's at. You are awesome. These stories that you tell me are awesome. 748 now at KPL. <laughs> Don't tell anyone about that. Dude, but here's the thing. See, you had Power Rangers. I had Wonder Woman. The, the, the gloves had mm-hmm. buttons between the index finger and the oh, thumb. Oh, yeah. So whenever you did it, ah, e, ah. So you could, like, fight someone, you know? No way. Are you serious? I was probably a thrill for my mom to take the target. Let's yeah, just say that. I'd imagine so. It was cool being, like, wanting to be Wonder Woman, though, because the plane was invisible. So that, oh, worked, okay. that worked out with a lot of things. Now think about it. That's great. That's very imaginative for a kid. Secret to life. I wish a lot of things were invisible these days. Uh, <laughs> a lot. My doctor said that yesterday, too. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> crazy. <laughs> Watch out for a traffic crash on Cully Saloon Road near Republic. No, seriously, there is a traffic crash. Kali Saloon Road at Republic. Also, northwest of Angeline Thruway at Bellot. That's northwest of Angeline Thruway at Bellot. There's a traffic crash there. You know something that's not invisible? All of the delicious food with all the restaurants that are part of Eat Lafayette. I'm going to another one today. Oh, I'm so jealous. Two of you. o'clock. I'm going to be at the Jambalaya shop oh. on Congress. Oh, dude. Can't wait. What time are you going? Two. You want to come? Oh. I have to go to my physical terrorist. Well, that's your own problem. Seven forty nine now. Wait, wait, wait. What? Something else that's not invisible is you could win a free cruise with Eat Lafayette. Tell you them just, about the cruise. You just go to the the restaurantes that are participating, and you can register for the free cruise from Travel Machine. Sounds good to me. Yeah. So Eat Lafayette by Lafayette Travel is delivered by waiter.